Next presenting company is Client Scientific with CEO Patrick Sund. Welcome, Patrick. Thank you. Today, large patient groups suffer from diseases where tools for effective cure or treatments are lacking. Osteoarthritis and metastatic cancers are two of these areas where hundreds of millions of people suffer from severe pain or sometimes die far too early due to the spread of a tumor in the body. Klein Scientific is a company with two clinical projects that aim to solve problems in both of these ma major areas. My name is Patrick Sund, I'm the CEO of Klein, and I will try to take you through those two projects that we have and explain to you what they are. Our two projects, both in preclinical phases at the moment, uh, we call them CellRace and StemCart, are based on our proprietary technology. What makes it possible for us to work with two so different projects is a common platform in the form of a patented surface technology. With the help of that, we can, with very high precision, control and analyze the movement and the behavior of, of different cells. I will tell you short uh, about StemCart and CellRace and where we are today. But first, a summary of what, what Klein is. Klein started as a technology company with proprietary patented nanosurface technology. But over time, the company has transformed. And since around 2018, we are an R&D company with, as I said, two preclinical pre projects, uh, which both use our technology, but in different ways. Our business model, model is, uh, has evolved somewhat, but is very similar to other life science projects or pro companies. Uh, we will develop our, both our projects to a certain phase, and then we will aim to out-license or sell the projects to a larger company uh, that can take it further and to the market. The two projects are, as I mentioned, CellRace, which is a cancer diagnostic product for detecting the risk of metastasis much earlier and with higher precision than today. And StemCart, which is a stem cell derived cartilage repair therapy, a cell therapy. We have a strong team behind us, uh, a board of directors with long time uh, life science experience, both from the pharma, uh, diagnostics as well as the healthcare field. We have a strong operating team, although small, and we also have uh, strong advisory teams behind each product, uh, project, sorry, both the stem cart and the cell race advisors. Uh, lately, we have added clinical advisors for the stem cart project uh, in the form of three orthopedic surgeons, uh, two of which are very famous and have long-term experience with cell therapy in this area. Okay, so StemCart, our stem cell therapy project that aims to heal damaged cartilage. What is this? Well, the problem is obvious. Uh, you have cartilage degradation or it could be trauma uh, injuries. This leads to chronic pain, uh, which there is currently no cure for. The current treatments are either uh, drugs, in other words, painkillers, that you try to use for as long as possible before you go into the next phase, which could be surgery. Uh, you'd like to prolong this as long as possible because you do not want to repeat surgery since those prosth uh, prostheses are, uh, don't last for a lifetime, only just last for 10 years or so. There are some uh, types of aut autologous cell therapies. In other words, you can take your own cells, take them out into the lab, culture them, and then uh, replace uh, the, the damaged cartilage with them. Uh, but that's not scalable. The ideal, uh, what you would like to have in the future, is uh, what's called an uh, allion uh, allionogenic stem cell therapy where you can use a large batch of cells to a large number of patients. What we do, our solution is we uh, differentiate IPS cells, which is a certain type of stem cells, with our unique technology into 
functional chondrocytes or cartilage cells, uh, which are then together with a matrix implanted into the joint and uh, is uh, supposed to repair the damaged cartilage. Uh, obviously, you can either repair damaged cartilage or you can replace cartilage that has disappeared uh, due to our, um, osteoarthritis. The results so far are, are very encouraging. We have uh, uh, publicized or published um, results on how chondrocytes can be differentiated, uh, how they can be uh, differentiated by Klein's method, and also a number of other publications that proves that this works. Uh, currently, we have ongoing ex vivo tests where we test our t cells with the matrix in human cartilage that has been taken from patients undergoing surgery. And we will, uh, during the rest of this year, uh, publish results from those tests. Benefits are obviously that we can regenerate uh, articular cartilage that has not been possible up until now. Uh, we can also thereby uh, reduce the suffering, the pain uh, that patients uh, who have these problems uh, uh, have. And also, as I mentioned, uh, the allogenetic um, genetic iPS cell source is, uh, allows the scale up uh, to make this available for a large group of patients that otherwise could not get access to it. The market is very large. It's an estimated that 16% of the global population will at some point uh, suffer from osteoarthritis and only the number of knee replace replacements in the EU annually uh, has a very high cost. Uh, not only that, but osteoarthritis will grow uh, and increase in the population uh, due to the aging population that you have in most country, parts of the, of the world. The roadmap that Klein has uh, looks like this. It's very similar, or it is actually very uh, a part of a pharma clinical uh, pathway to, to the market. Um, all the sub um, activities that you see in the, in the blue frame are uh, activities that Klein expects to uh, co accomplish or uh, complete and we have done some of it. We are in the process of doing the ones that are marked in yellow, and then we will uh, also undertake a phase one clinical study uh, further uh, down the road. Outside of that is where we think a larger company needs to, needs to take uh, the product and the project further, and that is part of our project to find one of those two. Um, I also should say, by the way, if I go back, that our timeline, as you can see here, is not as, as long as some people might say. Uh, we have a, a target in 2024 to be able to divest this project. So much about stem cart. Now, cell race. Uh, we will switch to that, which is a, a diagnostic, cancer diagnostic product, as I said. The problem there today is that if you find a tumor, it's very difficult if not impossible to distinguish invasive cancer cells from non-invasive cancer cells, in other words, malignant uh, from benign. There are no products that, that on the market today that can do that, and this is what CellRace aims to be. Why is that important? Well, because 90% of all cancer-related deaths occur due to metastasis, in other words, spreading of cancer. Uh, as I mentioned, it's impossible to find these before that takes place and also that naturally leads to misdiagnosis or wrong, incorrect treatment at times. Klein's solution is uh, an IVD, an in vitro diagnostic product in the form of a live cell assay. In other words, we isolate uh, tumors, uh, tumor cells from a biopsy taken and then we put it down on our surface to see how the live tumor cells move over or if they don't. Um, we then uh, record a number of movements and a massive number of data points, which we then analyze 
with an AI algorithm that we are also developing uh, and then relate that to the risk of uh, metastasis. Why is this good, we think? Well, we think that it is better to look at the entire cell's reaction rather than one or a single factor. Uh, if you look at the live cell and their movement or their behavior, uh, you will actually get all factors involved. And, and that's what we think is different with, with this product. Today, there is only at least one biopsy per tumor detected uh, taken. And then, obviously, some kind of diagnostic method is used to uh, determine what the optimal treatment for each patient is. The cell race will fit right into this. Um, and in other words, will not change the workflow, uh, the clinical workflow at all. So far, the results uh, are very encouraging here too. Uh, we can ensure very small but very clear differences between invasive and non-invasive cell lines. Uh, what you see in the picture are the red uh, bars are invasive or malignant uh, tumor cells, the green ones non-invasive. And we can do this with very high specificity. We have though chosen not to publish these results yet uh, because of patent uh, possibilities that we see with this project. Major benefits, uh, they are also obvious I think, will provide uh, diagnostic information that is not available today at a much earlier stage. Uh, that can ensure proper treatment and also I'd like to stress that even though we currently work with breast cancer, uh, the idea is for cell rays to be uh, uh, adapted to all types of metastasizing, uh, metastasizing cancers in, in the future. The market, I think everyone knows, is uh, enormous. There are over 2 million cases of breast cancers diagnosed each year on a global basis. Uh, um, many more biopsies that, than that are taken. And if you uh, will calculate some kind of a value, a cost for that. Uh, it differs depending on what types of tests is run, where in the world you're doing this, but if you look at the range of five to 10,000 sec, uh, you will see that the market is already there for breast cancer diagnosis um, in the blockbuster uh, region. Just like for stem cart, we have a roadmap for cell race. Um, for what it's somewhat different because it's not a, a therapy, but it's same type of, of testing that needs to be done and steps that needs to be going, uh, has to be gone through. Uh, similarly to in cell race, cell race, we have identified the sub uh, activities that Klein should take care of and then where a partner or an out licensing, out -licensing uh, procedure should, should take place. Uh, the green ones we have accomplished already, the yellow ones are underway. So what are the key takeaways from this? Well, uh, Klein has a cutting edge technology that we use in two preclinical projects uh, with very high value in each uh, potential market. And we think that you should look out for uh, results from our um, ex vivo testing in the STEM CART project, uh, which we will have uh, um, during the fall. And also the progress and the accelerated progress with, uh, in cell race when we start uh, using the AI-based algorithm uh, fully out, uh, which we expect to do sometime starting in August. With that, I will leave you and thank you for your attention and you're more than welcome to come with more questions to us uh, at any time. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, the stem cell market is certainly growing, so how is stem cart differentiated from other stem cell products? Well, stem cell products uh, in general can be used in many, many different fields, many different diseases. 
Uh, what we are trying to do is use it in a very large field, obviously, uh, cartilage damage or osteoarthritis, which everyone will get sooner or later. Uh, I think the different um, difference uh, is that in one way, it's an easier um, type of disease to cure because it's more of a mechanical issue. If you have cartilage in your knee that is uh, that needs to be replaced or it's worn out, if you can add some more, yeah, then 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 you have a solution. Many other stem cell uh, projects or products aim to um, uh, to cure much more complicated diseases such as diabetes, Parkinson's disease, etc., where you not only have to get the cells who can produce a hormone in place, they also have to read the levels of that hormone in, in the body, which is extremely difficult to do. So uh, I think even though obviously stem cell therapy is, is, a, is a complex thing to, to bring to the market, it's an easier one that we are working with right now than many others um, that are in, in the project phases. Interesting, and you have submitted an international patent application for the cell raise product. When do you expect to get approval for this? It's, it's always uh, hard to know because uh, what we have done is, is so far submitted an international PCT application to get the protection worldwide, but then you also have to go in and, and apply in each country or each market, if you will. And those different countries uh, have different timelines. Uh, it can go very fast, very fast in this case would be 19, 20 months uh, from application date. It can also take eight years, so you, you never know. But we expect to have ours ready in two, three years, which is uh, pretty much coincides when with the time that we think uh, uh, another uh, partner needs to, uh, to uh, assist or take over the, the whole project. Thank you for joining us today in the studio. Thank you very much. Thank you.